car brake service. There's a couple of Ford cars in the 90s, the Lincoln Mark 7, the uh, T-Bird, Super Coupe, and Mustangs. Because of the size and low vacuum, they had electric boosters. Those parts are now obsolete, so they're impossible to find and hard to maintain. And the only place to find parts is off of another old unit. So we have reliable modern conversions. Our favorite is the Hydra Boost, and we also have vacuum conversions. Our preferred and recommended is the Hydra Boost because it's most like the electric booster as far as power and pedal ratio, and it's the best match. We can also do vacuum conversions. Uh, it's, it's got a lower price. It's not as good, but it does the job, and we're shipping a vacuum unit for a Lincoln Mark 7 today. Booster with master and a couple of fittings. Here you see the master cylinder with ports facing the engine, and that's important because of the Ford shock towers. And here are the variety of fittings and adapters that we use, because there's a, now there's one port for front whereas on the electric booster there was two. This is one of our favorite products because we, we like those cars a lot, but a lot of them unfortunately get scrapped because the price to replace the brake booster is oftentimes more than the price of the car. Car can be, uh, car can be at $1,300 to $3,000 and to fix that electric brake booster can be $3,000. So we can solve that problem with either vacuum or hydro boost and you're coming in at a great price and you get to keep those wonderful cars. So give us a call with whatever you need. Wind it up.